welcome back to the channel and a new video we've had the call guys buying that old tarmacker's van has obviously started to pay off because we received a call from them late yesterday afternoon and said we got another one here for you if you're interested pop down and take a look at it so chris has picked me up and we're heading that way now go and have a look at it and fingers crossed we bag ourselves a little bargain we're now going back to get chris's van but jobs are good and I'm well happy. I mean, we're still to negotiate the price a little bit, but these are very, very good vans and I'm looking quite forward to owning it, to be honest. So we have just arrived back to base. And as you can see, we have bought ourselves a Volkswagen Transporter. Guys, as you can see, it is quite a nice van, but we did pay strong money for this van because like I said in the previous video, we'd like to be able to continue buying these vehicles at this company. We'll start off on the driver's side. We're gonna have a quick walk around it and I'll tell you a bit more about the van. So as you can see from the driver's side, it is in quite nice condition. It's been very well kept and looked after. Moving round to the back, is where you know it has got a few marks around it and this is where it starts we've got the back bumper there we'll probably have a go at repairing that possibly we may even just get a bumper for it but warming that up you would get it out to a degree but yeah it's got a little bit of damage there on the corner of the bumper and again there on the back door the rest of the back doors are in quite nice condition moving on to the passenger side is where we have got the worst of the damage there's quite a nasty dent in the bottom of the door just there and as you can see there is a dent just in the edge at the bottom of that seal all very very repairable we did notice up here on sorry there's a fly flew in the way there on the passenger side loading door somebody has had a go at getting in this van via the side loading door now we went online just a minute ago and had a look how much a door would be because it'd just make a nicer job putting a door on it and we noticed online that every other door for sale has got like an aluminium or stainless steel plate around the handle there and chris said do you know what rob that'll pop out easy it's a very easy repair and we're going to do exactly the same to this door we'll straighten that out repair it and then stick the stainless steel plate round to prevent that from happening in future. Moving on to the passenger front door, there's a few little marks and nicks, but nothing that we can't get out or touch up. Again, there is a few other little bits and pieces. There's a little scuff there on the front wing, and also there's a scuff there on the front bumper. Now it is a 12 reg van, and that bumper, we probably will not even touch that. We'll get it all blacked up and make it nice, but overall it is a very very nice van and i've just driven it home which was about 60 miles and it drove lovely it really did drive nice but then i think all the volkswagens do let's move on to the inside chris if you want to open up that door i mean in here it, it was it was quite nice to sit in here i'm in normal clothes today and I didn't think twice about just jumping in. It does want a light valet, but nowhere near as bad as the other one. All the floor's quite nice in it. There's no wear marks. They really do stand the test of time and mileage, these Volkswagens. Let's jump up in here. It's got the CD player in it. Mileage, you got the key there, mate. Can you turn that on for me? 172,000 now that is quite high mileage but again when we was just looking online we just looked and that is about average for one of these vans it does like i just said it does drive nice the gearbox is all smooth the clutch is really nice in it so even though it cost quite strong money we're really happy with it should we have a look under the bonnet? Oh, I did notice as well while I was driving home, the driver's window switch is a little bit temperamental. So we will have to source one of those for it. 
but again under the bonnet i believe this is the two liter isn't it or did he say two? we'll have to have a look on the paperwork but we got service history with this one as well and load of receipts which was nice but uh, that's possibly the two litre like the tdi engine the same as what's in the golfs but again all kept really nice under the bonnet i'm sure chris is looking in that paperwork yeah he is now see what cc it is i'm going to move around to the back and show you the inside there's no bulkhead chris so you can shout at me from there so it's all ply lined and it's all quite nice none of it's all covered in you know there's no tar on it this can all be wiped over and will all come up really nice i can't wait to get stuck in and give all this a nice clean because they do really come up nice but in the back of it it's ready for work as they say it is all kitted out and it's quite nice how are we getting on there mate two liter, mate. a two litre yeah. so it's got the same engine possibly as the golf Guys, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comment section down below. So I was just uh, talking about getting some supplies for the other van, the Crafter. And Chris said, well, we do need quite a bit of stuff. And I said, that's all right. Perfect opportunity. Have a little test drive in the Volkswagen, what is this one? Transporter. Transporter, I'll get it mixed up every time. We've got a bit of a theme going on at the minute with the old Volkswagens, but I said, yeah, it's a good opportunity. I drove it home before and couldn't film any of it, so I'll take you on a bit of a drive in it and uh, talk a little bit more about it. So we have had a little bit of an in-depth chat and we are going to get on and do the side loading door next. Concentrate on that and that little bit on the back bumper. And we've decided as well that we're going to use the same painter that we used on the golf door. And I've spoken to him and booked it in for early next week. So we've got about a week to get on and get it done but it really is a nice van it's we just got in it a minute ago and i shut the door and i said to chris it is a bit dusty in here but they've not been using this one for tarmacking it has been used for various other jobs but i just can't fault it it really is a nice van we've got the spare wheel in the back i'm not sure if that needs to go underneath it because i'm sure it shouldn't be there but all the little jobs on it we're going to do Again, that bumper, we're going to warm it up, see what it comes out like. If it looks okay, we'll probably leave it because it has done reasonably high mileage and it, it's not no spring chicken, you know, it is eight years old. So we're going to head to Wicks, get our supplies, get back to the yard, carry on with what we was doing. But in the meantime, drop me your comments in the comment section. Let us know what you think of the van and let us know what you think of us initially buying that tarmac one and within four days of buying it we got a call to buy another one and that is ultimately what we want getting quite late late in the day and i just started piecing this video together and i had done it all just before i did this bit and then i realized i'd actually put in quite a lot of well a couple of little clips of what me and chris was picking up for at wix and i always forget we do have to be careful because if I do leave that in there, and it's it's crazy, but you'll be surprised what people do pick up on you guys in the background of videos, in the comments, and a lot of people make guesses and they do get quite a lot of the stuff right, but we try our hardest not to spoil the videos. So I'd put all that in there and I just watched it back and I was like, it's gonna completely ruin it. You would, um, last week was the first time in a long time we actually went crazy and did five videos in one week and we thought we've got the content let's do it but i was pretty knackered i was it was a long long week and it was very difficult especially getting home in the evenings as well and i like to interact with you guys answer your comments and like as many comments as i can but um yeah i made quite a lot of mistakes and i've tried my hardest and even though we was just going through another part of another video a minute ago i still yet i still made another mistake so do bear with me we all make little errors and especially when you're tired that was five videos we're going to try our hardest this week to try and do the same again but i can't promise that we're going to you know we put out videos on a monday a wednesday and a friday if we can get some little extras in between for you 
then we're quite happy to do that. I know a lot of people are still working from home or watching our videos whilst they're meant to be working from home, but we got no complaints there at all. I'm not gonna go on any longer. We didn't really get into anything in this video. We just wanted to introduce that we'd bought another vehicle out of that firm and it was starting to pay off buying that first ever van. So if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram where we put out little sneak peeks throughout the day and it lets you kind of know what it is that we're up to. Drop your comments in the comment section. I'll always do my best to try and get back to you. Like, subscribe and share and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.